Good day, my brothers and sisters. I'm Charlie W. Colton II. I'm the pastor of St. James Christian Methodist Episcopal Church. And this is your midweek faith lift. And for the next two weeks, I will be standing for Brother Ronnie Peck in celebration of black history. And I have no idea why he had me to do this. But uh, he's a friend of ours and we, we love him dearly. And uh, faith lift. Faith. When I think about faith, uh, you know the Bible says faith is the substance of things hoped for, but it's the evidence of things unseen or not seen. I want to tell you a story about a lady named Emma B. Bonet Coleman. And that Emma is E-M-M-E-R. She was very particular about the way she spelled her name. Uh, she was born in 1911 in Alexander, Louisiana. And uh, you, I'm sure you're wondering, what does this have to do with faith? Emma was reading First uh, Samuel, and when you get in First Samuel, you'll see a, a man named Elkanah, and he had two wives, Peninnah and Hannah, or Hannah. And Peninnah had children, but Hannah had didn't have any, so they went to the temple to praise and worship God, and. Hannah was standing outside of the temple because Peninnah ridiculed her all the time because she had, didn't have any children. And as she was standing, the prophet Eli was evidently observing her and thought she was drunk. And he came to ridicule her and she said, no, I'm not drunk. I was praying to the Lord and asked the Lord to give me a male child. And if he provided for me to have a male child, I will give him back to the Lord. And that uh, priest said, the Lord will answer your prayer. And very soon, uh, Hannah became pregnant and she gave birth to the prophet Samuel. Now, I'm sure, I'm sure you're asking what that had to do with faith. Well, my mother was having, which is Ember, my mother was reading 1 Samuel and uh, she read that and she said, well, she said she thought about that hymn. It is no secret what God can do, what he's done for others. He'll do for you with arms wide open. He'll pardon you. It is no secret what God can do. And she said she prayed and asked the Lord to give her a male child. And she promised she would give that child back to the Lord. And God answered her prayer. Now, what is ironic about that is Emma B. Bonet Coleman had had eight miscarriages before she gave birth to that one and only son, Charlie W. Coleman II. So that's why I'm here, and I was dedicated and given to the Lord before I was born. And I hope that lifts your faith. <laughs>